All right, I'm I'm going to try to keep this shorter than planned because I'm not sure ex exactly how interesting it is. But the point I want to make is that a lot of people know about the famous uh, tools that we have, like Unity and Flash and Game Maker and Multimedia Fusion. So I want to tell you what uh, we have been working with the last couple of years, actually. Uh, and it's a uh, it's a game engine we, that we call Daisy Moon, which is uh, uh, our prototype. It started out as our prototype engine. So that's uh, the, the purpose of this speech. Let's see. Yes, so what we did uh, back in 2004 was that we started creating a game engine uh, based on early 0.7, I think they're up to like 2.0 or something like that now. Um, but uh, we quickly became incompatible with uh, their version, so it's kind of drifted off. Uh, and the reason why we became incompatible was because we, we wanted to make mainly 2D games, so we just added a lot of uh, things for uh, rendering and loading 2D textures and I mean it's a it, textures is always 2D but I mean we made tools to make uh, our sprites and, and stuff like that and out of this engine we made uh, Dawn of Daria an uh, online role playing game and we made Strategist which we uh, which actually turned into a commercial game uh, we made Harvest which is on Steam now and through Harvest we wanted to have mod support, and at that time I got started using some Lua, so we decided to add Lua support to Harvest, which in turn in, in created Daisy Moon, which we wanted to use as a prototype engine to, to speed up our, uh, our exam, uh, our, our prototype simply. Uh, and uh, then that grew into a bigger project, we kept on adding stuff, and and mainly thanks to Daniel, uh, he thought it, it was so much better than using Multimedia Fusion for prototyping. It has now become our main engine. Um, so these are the games that we made with Daisy Moon. And the PB up in the corner, that's our Project B. We call it Project B because it doesn't really have a name. So we, we don't want to get used to having a fake name like we did with Harvest. Um, uh, and out of Daisy Moon we made uh, a game called Because It's Fun Fay, and we made Fill Out, and we made House Globe and Jet Engine Knights, and we made uh, Horror Tactics, so we've been working a bit with this. Uh, I want to show you some screenshots of this game. So this is uh, House Globe. It's a real-time real strategy game uh, based on the home world. Um, for the Tick Source uh, D Make competition. And this is because it's fun play. It was also for a Tick Source competition. The, the levels are procedurally generated. Uh, and you play, when you play you, you, as a single player, you play either as Faye or uh, you play, play both Faye and Corn, which is this feature, figure which sits on the wall. Um, but you have to switch between them. And it also has uh, co-op when you when you want uh, play play once all the time, one of them all the time. Uh, and then we this is fill out, which is a remake of uh, Fallout. It's uh, for the same competition. Uh, it's a it's a one sixty eighty resolution. What is the resolution? One twenty. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, it it's actually quite. Quite nice to play. <laughs> um, There's no real gameplay in it yet, but it's beautiful. To look yeah. at. <laughs> and this is Jet and Genite, so one of the earlier versions, at least. Uh, this looks great when it's in, a, in movement because of the parallax clouds. Um, and uh, yes, so this is how we work. We write Lua code. Uh, we put in sound effects, and uh, we have uh, our uh, Graphics and our uh, we each sprite is a separate uh, TJ 
uh, and we have a texture builder which puts them together in, into co common uh, textures. And then we get a game. So this is the, a screenshot from the texture builder. I can also show you um, uh, how it looks like. This is the texture builder we're using now for so it, it, it yeah it creates textures but they're not so I, I'm not sure what text what texture size we use now. Is it? Yeah. Because when we started out we used two two hundred fifty six times two hundred fifty six, so that's what it's designed for. Yes, I, I can also uh, since I show you the screenshots I can show you a game uh, which not so many people have seen. Uh, we created this as a uh, game for. Um, it was uh, like we took a chance for the IGF. It didn't work out so well, mainly because the game didn't work out so well. <laughs> but uh, I'm ca quite fond of this game. So. <laughs> So we, we got some help to make the voice recordings for this, and uh, as you can see, there were some missing graphics. Although. editor for this as well. So see if I can scroll out. Yes, yes. Ah, ah, so this was the first level. Scroll, 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 scroll. Yeah. So this is all uh, in, in the Lua code. Um, the, this game is actually in 3D. If I can scroll back, I, it, you can tell. I, I'll just do like this. Save us some time. So you can see it's 3D hoops. Which maybe wasn't so necessary for this game. But, yeah. Um, okay. Back to 